What's up, Kerbal Nuts? This is Noel on PC, and today, while well, I wasn't really actually expecting to make a Kerbal Space Program video, I was just kind of horsing around, <clears throat> made this cool, like, buggy, and I thought, oh, I'll go, like, test it. And, like, the whole thing went really smoothly, and I got to here, and it was just like, fuck, I should just record this. So, not much to say about this. It was just a rover build that I thought, like, you know, will, will it rover? Uh, it drove around on Earth okay, so, you know, this is the first test. This is, you know, beta 1. Um, I think we're putting it down in the general vicinity of the arch. I think this is the crater. I think the arch is somewhere just over here. We could probably drive to it as part of the rover test, uh, providing the rover doesn't crash. Also that it just in general functions. All of these things I'm very unsure of. All right, I braked right at the right time. Um, the rocket, you know, not you didn't, you didn't miss much. You know, it had a smaller stage that got us kind of here. Uh, it had a huge stage below it, you know, the, the usual. Big, you know, just imagine big stuff. Um, it drove really well on Earth. It's heavy, so that's a plus. You know, really light rovers on the moon, if you guys are going to do this. Um, light rovers, you know, flip and bounce around a lot, so don't do that. Build, like, a big, heavy kind of base-like rover like I've got here. I'm not telling you what to do. You're your own boss. I don't sign your paychecks. Someone else does. But what I'm saying is, like, I've... I've tried it a lot, and it just never really goes the way I envision it. The only way to do it would be to nerf, like, the motor down to, like, 5%. You know, have the thing basically be, like, like a mobility scooter. You know, like an elderly person mobility scooter. Have that thing just creeping along. You're probably going to be okay. But they go, like, 80 miles an hour. It's toxic. All right, so basically we're just gonna plunk it down and then I've got some RCS jets here. So I'll figure out which button blasts those, right? Apparently it's K. And I'll just use K to sort of slow it down as it falls over, you know? That's the plan anyways. Um, there's gonna be a downhill. We wanna be pointing downhill. It's definitely gonna be that way. So we want the wheels to land on the downhill, right? Probably. That just seems logical. This is a relatively flat part of this hilly section, which we couldn't have asked for a better... Well, we could have asked for a flat spot, but I'll take this. Look at that. Pretty clean. Okay. Um... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Roll over. Oh, we're totally doing this. We're totally doing this. Yeah, like a glove. All right, boom, baby. I'm gonna do this and this. All right, let's just get it stopped. I want it stopped, and I want an F5 quick save before I do literally anything else. All right, holy shit, this went really smooth. I'm glad I recorded this because if I didn't and I got to here, I would have just been face palming so hard. I'd have like a permanent hand mark on my face from all the face palming. That crashed my game. Let's hope it doesn't do that again. We're gonna decouple. Are we gonna decouple? I'm gonna enable crossfeed this time. Decouple. Oh sweet Jesus, it worked. And the little thing fell off. Whew. Okay, we're gonna quick save. Alright. Oh man, I don't know what I would do if that just kept bugging out. Alright, we're gonna get down. We're just gonna drive away just a little bit. Beautiful just beautiful. I, I should have put a light on the front, hindsight 2020, but, you know, we've got we've got the ambient, minimum ambient light ability. Alright, if I were an arch, I'm just going to put the brake on again while we get a look around. If I was an arch, where would I be? Would I be over there? That's the crater, isn't it? Alright, so I think it's somewhere I think it's somewhere that way, right? So let's let's go explore. Where's the crater? Is this the crater ridge? <laughs> we're exploring. We're, we're spelunking the caves of the moon. Looking for the arch. I knew it was around. Oh. That 
that's the rim. And we're way down here, so we gotta go. This way, like a fucking boatload. So I'm gonna do some exploring. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's probably gonna take a really fucking long time. I'll see you when I see ya. Can you fucking believe this shit? Look at this thing go. It's fucking 30. It's like 39, 40 degrees. That is insane. And it's accelerating. And just to prove, hack gravity's still off. <laughs> this thing is just that awesome. It's hemorrhaging electricity really fast, but we're basically there. So we just gotta get to the top of this hill. We're gonna, oh fuck, we're gonna like soar off the top of this hill. Uh, oh shit, okay. Here we go, time to get our game face on. I'm like slowing down, I'm slowing down as we come over the top. I'm in like full break, gotta get that nose down. I'm using the RCS on the front to try and really, yeah, nice, clean. We have an engineer, so if we break tires and stuff, it's no big deal. Let's get full stop, full stop, full stop. Full stop, mate. You're gonna, you're gonna stop at some point, right? Perfect. It did. It listened. All right. Back at her. Black at her. I suppose we could put the other solar cells out. I just didn't want to put them out just in case I flipped. If I flipped and knocked those two solar panels out, but actually managed to stay on the wheels, and it wasn't going to cost me a ton of time. I, I would have just taken it and then opened up the other two. Basically, they were like backup. Since we're this close, obviously we're going to put all four out. Yeah, that's why I only had two out. It was just in case. I could afford to break them if I made a ton of ground without saving and then broke them right at the end. I'd just be like, fuck it. I've got two. I'm good. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How are the Duke boys going to get out of this one? How did we not break everything? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Full break. <laughs> Full break. I do not want to hit this thing. Oh, that's a big drop, isn't it? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Oh no. 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 Oh my god. How did we not die? How? We've gotten lucky so many times today. It's our fucking lucky day. Okay, don't roll. You cannot roll. Do not roll. Do not roll, you giant white turd. Okay, perfect. The turd. That's what we should call this thing. <laughs> Alright, so note to self. Note to self. Do not drive this thing over, you know, a certain speed limit. <laughs> if I ever have to move this thing anywhere, don't. That's the moral, I guess. So there's no flat ground really up here, so we're just gonna park it. Um, not underneath, because we need sun. So we're gonna park it. We're gonna park it adjacent. We're gonna we're gonna park adjacent. Remember where we parked, kids. Alright, we'll face like that. That would probably be best, right? If we do this. Then the solar panels, you know, it'll. I think it'll rise that way, you know, and it'll only be over. We'll only get negative, like zero exposure for like that few minutes, until it, you know, goes by overhead. I think. I don't know. I think that's good. Are the wheels off the ground? Nice. RCS is off. SAS is off. Thing looks settled. Thing actually looks. Oh my god, it's perfectly level. <laughs> I made the back ones lower, thinking that there's more weight back there. So the lower the suspension arm will sort of squish and then everything would kind of balance out in the end. But it actually turns out that that ended up perfectly leveling it because that was unnecessary. If we found level ground, the, the ass end would have been about a foot higher. So it would have looked super goofy and I'd be all pissed off about it. But this is actually perfect. It almost looks like it was calibrated for the spot. That is awesome. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? We got Commander My Deloney, Queenie, DT, Blue Kerman, all quadruplets apparently, all related. We get Commander Deloney. I think this is his. Yeah, I think this is his second mission. 
but first as a commander, I believe. So let's... <laughs> yeah. I wonder. <sighs> Bye. Up and at them. No, the line is up and at them. Up and at them. All right, I'm going to just see. I think in really old versions of the game, you could technically plant a flag up here. So let's see if you still can. Does it say something on the bottom of his boots? It almost looked like DMC. Run DMC? Awesome. Commander Midal, only one small step for 420. One giant leap for 420 Olo. I don't, I don't want this to say anything. There we go. Perfect. Bye. We. Oh, that actually kind of made me. <laughs> that made me. Yeah, I got that sensation you get when you like look over a high thing. Like I'm not afraid of heights, but I got that little wobble where it was like, oh, that was a weird sensation. Uh oh. Oh no. Oof. Oof. It's okay. It's okay. Um. DT or Queenie, one of them's trained in medical, I think. So they can assist splints to his broken shins. It's all good. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. In zero G, shattering your ankles like that doesn't hurt nearly as much as it would um, elsewhere. Nope, up. All right, this was a success, a, a, such a, an amazing, immense success. Even though it was just supposed to be like a test run, it ended up working out well enough that like, I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm happy with this. All right, get the little landing leg down. This is how he should have actually left. You know, if, if this was like a real thing, he probably would actually climb down, not just, not just heaved off. Neil Armstrong didn't just roll out of, you know, the lander. He came out graceful like a gazelle. This thing's dope. Um, is it, is it all stock? I think it's all stock, so I could upload this. I'll put it in a Dropbox. If it's not stock, it'll tell you what you need, and I'm sorry. Uh, you can tell me, and then I'll, I'll put it in the description. But yeah, I'm going to put this in the Dropbox. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you comment. I hope you subscribe if you haven't. I hope you tell me what you're playing, tell me what you're building in KSP, you know, all the things you guys do as YouTubers. And until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.